I think my biggest problems as a car broker, because I'm a professional entity and I'm doing this constantly in Boston, people remember me. Like they're constantly, they recall Boston Automotive Consulting or Boston Con Consulting or whatever I'm called. Dealers remember my name. So a lot of the times when I'm doing these deals, I'm chasing after the most aggressive dealer. Depending on how hard of a car it is, I'm calling up like a bunch of different dealers and all these guys are gonna recall, hey, I gave numbers to this kid, or hey, I gave, you know, I gave a number and I didn't hear back from him, or hey, this is the fifth time or fourth time, whatever, this kid's called me for a number. Eventually, they start to notice that I'm constantly shopping around for the best deal. Some of them, they won't even pick up my phone calls anymore. So it really becomes sort of an issue after a while nurturing these relationships. Once in a while, I'll start and end with one dealership as opposed to the next time where that dealership that I started with, I'll be ending with. And I try to give business as much as I can, depending on how aggressive of a number it is, to as many dealerships as possible so they remember at some point hey this kid gave us business let's not ignore him yet the key was yet another problem that i have in this business is that not all dealerships want to work with me as in some of these dealers guys they have a strong no broker policy as then they've been there before and they don't want to deal with a broker now, this isn't common in places like California where brokers are, you know, a dime a dozen, but this is common in Florida. And I will run into this issue maybe seven times or eight times out of 10 where a dealership will not return my phone call. So brokers aren't exactly the most loved people to work with. So one big other issue is, isn't so, so much to do with the dealer, but the consumer. And because brokers, like I said before, don't have the best reputation, a lot of consumers, you know, they may have heard or they may have even worked with a broker before that asked for a large fee. They did it sneakily. They did it without the customer knowing that they were including, you know, a thousand or two thousand dollar broker fee into their deal when they were negotiating the numbers with that dealership. They may have drilled down the price like crazy only to include a really, really high broker fee. And, you know, if word gets out that you're that type of a broker, you know, very quickly, not only will that customer lose faith, not just in you, but in the broker business altogether, just like how they lost faith in the dealer business altogether, but you, you probably earn like a really bad reputation online too, like maybe Yelp reviews, etc. So this is always an issue that I'm facing is that I have to make sure that my customers know that at any time during the whole deal, they're free to just ask to work with another dealership if they feel as though something's off during the deal. And I make that very, very clear to my clients that I want them to be on their game. I want them to tell me or direct me in how I should be doing this deal on. Another issue that you run into when you're a broker because you're a broker a lot of people like to contact you because you're you you have a unique personality you have a unique way of doing things and you have very very unique connections in your market so it's not very very easy to duplicate you and your work so a lot of the times what I find is the more and more busier I'm getting the harder it's becoming to do the most simplest deals in order for me to get some of these deals done, I do actually need help. Like I need a lot of help, guys, to be able to do some of these deals. And, you know, hiring an assistant or hiring a, another broker, that's not gonna necessarily fix your problem. A lot of these deals happen because of my pre-existing relationships with some of these dealers. And an issue that I'm facing right, right now is, is help. And to be able to continue doing what I'm doing, to sustain what I'm doing, it's going, 
it's going in that direction of having to automate a lot of what I do. And that takes away from the customer service experience. So finding that balance for me is what I'm talking about. Finding that balance in the overall experience, not just price, not just how long it took, but the whole picture, including my client's satisfaction with the whole process and their experience dealing with me and not just a series of automation tools that sort of make people like me, their jobs a little bit easier. One last issue that's been that's been on my mind as far as what makes or what gives me some trouble here and there in this business. And I don't mean to get sort of sappy on you, but is proving my value or proving my worth to somebody who doesn't know what this business is all about. And my trouble is, my problem is with some of these car buying services, you know, you know which ones I'm talking about, the web-based ones, is that everybody's focused on a selling price of a car that has yet to be discussed about and finalized. No talk about interest rates, no talk about additional dealer fees that you know weren't disclosed, no talk about money factors if that customer was trying to lease, and just the added benefit of having a professional on retainer, on like being able to call them at any point during the whole deal and asking and confirming whatever's you know whatever's going on around you or whatever is happening at the table right then and there so my issue is is that a lot of people don't find the value in what I'm doing and that's okay but to the person that's making me prove my value my problem is is some people just don't care about any other thing that I'm actually providing just had to rant with you guys just had to rant to you guys about some of the troubles I guess I face in this business and you know I hope that you guys know that not all is all simple and easy in this line of work and you actually do go some do go through some troubles every now and then at the dealership to make sure that you know this becomes a sustainable type of work where you can continue doing it if you like the video guys give me a thumbs up let me know what your thoughts are below love to hear about what you think and if you got any questions related to what i'm talking about feel free to leave it in the comment section below look forward to reading them thank you so so much for watching guys we'll see you next time